M for mature. Hey everybody, this is Hades Timer coming at you with the Prey one hour demo. Uh, it is actually supposed to be one hour, but it could be a little longer. I played it for longer than an hour. Got some good stuff coming up here, so I'm going to drop good out morning, a little bit. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. So, this is the demo. Uh, that uh, just dropped not too long ago and what this does is it will save your progress uh, when you pick up the actual game um, and this was pretty cool uh, I really enjoyed wake up you're burning daylight you sent the helicopter to pick you up it's just a few tests don't forget to wear your suit see you soon oh listen well, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. I really did enjoy the demo. Um, there's a lot of stuff to read and to look at and everything in this game. Uh, I did pick, at least pick it up. Uh, I didn't necessarily read it. Um, I mean, I didn't leave it up there long enough for, for you to read it necessarily. I just kind of scanned it, decided what it was about, and moved on. Um... But most of it's about neuroscience, and most of it's about, like, uh, you know, science, math, uh, that kind of thing. Future stuff, mostly. Uh, and for some reason, she's got these really huge, really ugly purses. I don't know what the deal is with that, but whatever. Not a girl, but she has huge, ugly purses. Uh, I did decide to pick uh, the female uh, version of Morgan. Um, first, because I think Morgan is a fe uh, is a girl's name, pretty much. Uh, unless you're, like, Morgan Freeman. But, you know, other than him, I feel like Morgan is a girl's name. Uh, but anyway. Um, <laughs> no, the main reason why I did it was because uh, I figured most people would be playing the guy. Um, that's usually the way, I, the reason why I do it. Uh, just to see if there's any different kinds of interaction, or there's any kind of... Uh, anything that's different about uh, playing the, the female role as opposed to playing the male role. Uh, that's that's really the reason why I did it. Um, that's the only... Uh, that's it. That's the only reason. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is the... I just explored the room, basically. That's what I was... That's what this whole thing was. Uh, just exploring the room, trying to figure out all the things I can do. Um... And I still think I keep doing that uh, after this part as well. Uh, I didn't play this game. Uh, I didn't play this demo for an hour. I played it for about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, there was a lot. Of the loading screens are super long on the PS4 version. Uh, so know that while you're uh, before you go in. Uh, there probably there were three loading screens, I believe, and each one of them was at least. Um, it was, I think, I believe they were over a minute each. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they were even longer than that. Um, they're very long. Um, this is on a, um, this is on an external mechanical drive, uh, and it's obviously because it's the demo. There's no disc, so it is. This is the fastest you're gonna get it uh, served to you unless you have an SSD. So. I'm assuming the SSD could maybe cut the time in half, but even that, that's that's a long time. Uh, so anyway, um, this game was a game that I was planning on doing some walkthrough, something for. Uh, a walkthrough, a playthrough, a let's play, you know, something. Um, but after playing this demo, uh, I feel like... Um, a, I don't have enough time to, to do this game justice, and B, the game seems very much suited to the PC. 
uh, I will I would really 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 love to play this game on the PC and it is kind of a mystery kind of a story like why am I here what's going on you know this kind of thing so uh, if you don't want any spoilers make sure that you uh, that you punch out you know ASAP because there will be you will be spoiled uh, there are there's some stuff right at the front that uh, you know in the next five ten minutes of this uh, of this playthrough where you'll be spoiled um, so really uh, I would say if you're at all interested in playing prey definitely stop watching this and uh, go pre-order it it's a great it, it seems like a great game I've played it, like I said, like for about an hour, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. It's very good. It's it's very tense. It's very good. It, it's got a, a great horror aesthetic to it, which I did not expect going into this. It's definitely something like Dead Space, you know, um, very much uh, got a horror aesthetic. Morning, miss you. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. So I'm gonna let this. Once we get the root, get to the roof, I'm gonna let it play a little bit because uh, there is gonna be dialogue going on uh, throughout the whole thing, and I don't want to talk over it, even though subtitles are on. So uh, I'm gonna check out here for a second. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Nice view on the bay there. Is you mind the glass on the way out good luck to you hello dr you i'm a sybil 495 science class operator our research often requires intense focus and long hours i can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test if necessary. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, probably what I'll be doing is I won't be doing Morgan. any kind of... Uh, Finally. It's your brother Alex that talks to you for way too long. You can read the subtitles. Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop know, talking for as long as this guy talks. Uh, anyway, um, so the gist of it is I that uh, I'm not gonna be doing a playthrough. I'm not gonna be doing a let's play or anything like that because I really want to play this on PC. I really want to play it on a really good PC. Test? So I want to wait uh, until I have my PC. You know, my new PC coming, and uh, that's gonna be towards the end of the year. And so I'm going to be waiting to play this, uh, we'll but next week. I'm putting this up for you guys because I A, I already played through it, I already have the footage, there's no point in me not right. doing that. And also, the Listen, game is so good, 
Just be at yourself. least in this first two Just hours. That I mean, you'll have to wait for reviews, of course. But in those these first two hours, the game is so good that I would definitely pick it up. Uh, you one. know, I would definitely pre-order. I would definitely uh, like buy it at this point. So make sure you check out the reviews. Don't go by only with what I say. And also, if you have the opportunity, um, download this for yourself. Because, uh, you know, if you have whatever platform that you're going to play it on, it has a demo. Um, all I'm going to say, though, is that uh, the Bethesda games in general for the for this year and probably, yeah, in general for this year... Um, really don't play very well on the P uh, the Xbox One. So uh, I don't know if this game is going to be uh, part of that or not. Wonderful. But in general, they have not been playing well, well on the fun. Xbox One. Uh, well, the the frame rate the is then. the same as the PS4, but it is not consistent, and it is not 1080p. It's like 900p. So, uh, considering this is Arcane Studios, the same guys who made Dishonored, uh, Dishonored 2, I would assume that it's the same engine that is, you know, uh, that's putting, uh, that's running uh, Dishonored 2. So, make sure that you don't pick it up on the Xbox One because you will have that problem. Um, I mean, when I was playing it, I didn't feel like it was a big issue, but... Chase, you know, your chair. mileage may vary. I mean, it depends on how you feel about it. I mean, how you feel about frame pacing and frame rate and resolution. Um, I guess if these things are not important to you, definitely, you know, if you have the Xbox One, pick it up. But if you have a choice, definitely A, pick it up for the PC uh, or B, pick it up for the PS4. Um, I would assume that the PS4 Pro version of this is going to look a little bit better at, at the very least and I think that that would really be cool. Um, so definitely, All if you have right. a PS4 Pro uh, and you, you don't have a PC that could run this, uh, I definitely would uh, pick it up for the PS4 Pro, obviously, uh, instead. So um, that's going to about do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, I do have the thing of uh, feeling that I don't want to spoil too much. But by the same token... Uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there who like to see the first hour of a game, uh, to see what it's like, to see kind of what they're in for. This game is definitely not one of those kind of games. Um, I would okay, definitely so not want to, to uh, see the beginning of this game uh, if I was, exactly you know, if, if I was just going to pick it up and play it, wanted to play it fresh. I mean, to me, this is the beginning of the game for me. So, I mean, when I go to play it on the PC... Uh, I'll just breeze through this real easy, but um, if you're if you, if you don't want to be spoiled, if you don't want to have you know anything ruined for you, make sure that you stop watching right now. Right now, now is the time, because from now on, spoilers. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan, have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Good. Next. Almost done. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. 
For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, where's my coffee? It's empty. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Okay, and uh, I'm back. Uh, I wanted to let you guys listen to that all without me talking over it. Um, so, uh, some other stuff. Um, first of all, just wanted to say that Bethesda did not pay me to play this game. Bethesda did not pay me to do this video. Bethesda doesn't have anything to do with this. Um, so don't think that I'm doing this because somebody's paying me to do it. Um, I do genuinely like the game. I got the game just, you know, I got the, the demo just the way that anybody else would uh, going on PSN or Xbox Live Marketplace and picking it up. So, uh, you know, don't worry about that. Uh, definitely not. This is not a, a, a stealth sponsored video. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. God, that would be nice if it was, not though. Dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to so, get out um, of your apartment building. You're not safe. The, uh... So, a lot of this part, uh, a lot of this area, is just me exploring and trying to figure out what to do and stuff like that. So that's why I said it's kind of spoilery, because once you figure it out, it's super easy. You know, it's... <laughs> Once you figure it out, it's super, it's, you know, it's no big deal. But until you do, until you figure it out, it's kind of, you know, Good. it's a mystery. A now get to the exit. So we'll basically it's like exploring and everything else. Uh, you do want to collect all the resources you can, uh, especially for um, later on. The, uh, the game is really, really cool. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a really is a really tense feeling uh, when you're playing it. Uh, it is kind of a stealth game, but not really. Um, it's kind of a mixture between. I want to say it's kind of like Dishonored in a lot of ways. Um, you can play it stealthy. You can play it um, kind of guns blazing, but not really. You don't have a lot of ammo. So, I mean, I guess they took the choice away from you, basically. Because uh, you don't get a lot of ammo. Um, so, I guess you could say, well, you can play it guns blazing, but it won't do you any good because, you know, you're going to run on ammo, and then what are you going to do? Um, so, I did cut... I did make kind of a large cut here uh, for when I was wandering around trying to figure out how to do some of this stuff. Uh, I just didn't, I thought it was boring and I didn't think anybody wanted to watch me, you know, wander around aimlessly and try to figure out what I was supposed to do. Um, the, uh, what I don't understand here is that the elevator controls, uh, affect, uh, the walls. So walls will turn based on which, uh, elevator floor you're supposed to be on. It's, uh... It's a little obtuse, uh, but 
you kind of you'll watch it happen because the walls turn real slowly so if you're not standing in the elevator uh, while you push the you know like you don't stand in the elevator for a couple seconds waiting for the elevator to do something if you push the button and then walk out you'll see the walls start to move so it definitely has kind of a deus ex uh, feeling in a lot of ways like with the hacking and with um, I mean I haven't actually done any hacking yet but I mean the, the kind of stuff like the life hacking kind of stuff like you have to look for notes where there would be a key you know where there would be a, a, a code a password to get into a machine or like you have to look around for key cards um, that kind of stuff I mean it's kind of Deus Ex, Resident Evil, that kind of thing. You know, it's, it's that sort of thing. At least so far. It seems like there's there's a certain amount of varied gameplay in this. Uh, a little more than I was expecting, certainly, when I, when I uh, started to play it. I, I kind of thought that it was going to be more of a... Um, they were going to kind of mess with your perception. And then they were going to have you kind of slowly figure it out. Uh, which is not really what they did. So uh, that that kind of surprised me. Um, but I honestly, I, I have to say, this is another one of those games where I haven't seen a lot of pre-release footage. Uh, I've only seen like the few first few trailers they put out for it, uh, which you know that just you know confirmed for me that I was interested in it. So I wasn't yet to the point where I felt like, oh, you know, I know what I, you know, I know what this game has to offer. So, um, so it's really cool. Uh, I really enjoyed playing the demo. I really enjoyed part playing the part that I did. Uh, it was a little bit annoying, uh, at first when I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Um, but then, uh, as soon as I got over that first part that I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do, um, it was fine. I, I figured, you know, it was it wasn't a big deal. Um, it just took a little bit for me to remember, not remember, for me to figure it out. So uh, there's a lot of little systems in this game. There's a lot of crafting. There's a lot of, um, you know, there's a big skill tree that you can go through. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. A lot more than I, like I said, a lot more than I thought there was. So it's very cool, and like I said, it's got a horror vibe. Um, there's a lot of destructible environments. Um, it's going to be a great game to play on PC. Uh, I just can't, I really can't wait to see how good this is going to look and play on the PC. Uh, everybody, the developer seems really, really confident that they've figured out all their PC problems and that the game will run perfectly fine on the PC, and it won't be a, a replay of Dishonored 2. Um, so I cannot wait. It's going to be really cool. So, um, you can kind of see, I think you can kind of see, no, you can't. This is not one of the, uh, things where you, where you push the button and things change, I think, or maybe it is. It was, it's this panel and obviously the other elevator panel. So, yeah, see, it does move a little bit. I just missed it. So I, I was not thinking like that everything was fake. I thought that certainly parts of it were fake, but I didn't realize that just how much of it was fake. So again, I mean, you, you don't want to watch any of this if you want to don't want to be spoiled. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty you know it, it, it's like a puzzle game almost. You don't want to. Uh, you know, you don't want to see how all the puzzles are done before you start the game, you know, kind of thing. Uh, certainly, I won't get that far, though. I mean, I, it doesn't let you get that far into the game. Um, I think it's the third major objective in the game you can't do because the game locks you out of it because it's the demo. It says in big red letters, you know, over the door where you're supposed to go, not available in the demo. Um, so I guess that's supposed to be your hour. Um, I'm glad the game wasn't timed. You know, I'm glad the demo wasn't timed because, as I said, I really did spend more than an hour playing it. So if it just, if it just let me play for an hour, and even if it let me play, you know, more than I, you know, was able to play now, I wouldn't have been able to because I, uh, 
you know, wouldn't have realized that, you know, I wouldn't have realized how to do some stuff. So I wouldn't have been able to move on and it would have been a big pain. So I'm glad it wasn't timed. <laughs> I'm really glad. So, um, yeah, so I really, really, really liked it. Um, I hope you guys have really liked this video. Um, there's a lot more to it. Uh, if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, on your way out, hit the subscribe button. Uh, all that stuff is important and it helps the channel. And whether you know it or know about it or not, uh, YouTube has been having a lot of trouble. So the more people who subscribe, uh, more people who give a thumbs up to a video, um, the better off the video is. And if you guys want to leave some comments in the comment section, that would be really great. Uh, what do you think of Prey so far? Have you you played the demo? Have you um, you know what kinds of things have you heard about it that made you think, oh, this is going to be a really good game? Um, are you going to get it? Where? What platform are you going to get it on? Uh, that kind of stuff. Um, I think the game looks great on the PS4. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it necessarily. I just think it's going to look even better on. Um, I think it's going to look even better on the PC. So that's why. Uh, I um, I want to get on the PC. That's all. Uh, it's not like I think that this game looks like trash or anything. I think it looks really good. I think it's uh, especially that uh, part where you're in the helicopter. I think it looks really amazing. Um, and there's some more stuff in this game that looks really amazing that's yet to come. So um, I think you'll pe most people will really really like it. I think it's going to be. As long as it runs really well on the PC, um, I think most people on the PC will really like it. Um, and even if it doesn't run well on the PC, I'm sure the people who play it on console will really, really like it because it's it's kind of different. It's not something that I was uh, expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this. I was expecting it to be a little bit, I don't want to say dumbed down from this, but not quite what they're after. This is almost... I have to say that at this, at some point in this, it kind of makes me think more like, like that it's almost like Bioshock, you know? That's kind of the comparison that I would make, which is a really big comparison because Bioshock is like one of my favorite games of all time. But I would almost say that that's what it reminds me of, um, like Bioshock, um, with maybe a little bit less to do. Um, that's where it kind of makes me more feel like it's a little bit more like Deus Ex, a little bit more. I mean, in Deus Ex, you get tons of side missions. I'm assuming that you get side missions eventually in this, uh, but uh, I'm just not at that point in the game yet. Uh, I'm talking over this and everything because, again, you know, uh, I was just wandering around. Uh, that was a big jump cut. <laughs> That was some more of me wandering around uh, trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. Uh, now we're going to make some progress. <coughs> Pardon me. As you can see, the walls are moving. And uh, that I did not notice before. I kind of somewhat have a night, somewhat of a knowledge of where I'm going now, sort of. But not really. I'm still trying to figure things out. Again, I mean, I'm just keeping on talking here because, again, you know, not much is happening and I don't want people to be bored. But, um, you know, we're going to get there. Give it a minute or two or three. We're going to get there. Here we go. We're getting there. Just have to figure this out. Yeah, see that covered up, and then you just walk around. It was probably just me being an idiot. I mean, obviously it's not the game's fault that I wandered around throughout that whole thing for that long. It's not the game's problem, it's my problem. But I just, you know, I didn't know what to, ex to expect. I didn't know what the extent of all this stuff was. Um, you know. Quick select is fine. Uh, I don't really use it here too much, but quick select is fine. I would suggest to anybody who plays this game, make sure that you save, manually save. Don't just quick save, manually save. Because um, I had a quick save 
that I didn't realize where it had quick save me. It, it will quick save automatically uh, at different points, and it quick saved me in this one place, and I didn't realize it. And I was almost in as bad of a situation uh, when I respawned as I was before I before, when I died. Like I was almost in that same amount of trouble. So make sure that you save. Uh, you, it gives you the option to save almost everywhere. Um, you can save almost as much as you want. Uh, just save as much as you can. Uh, especially like when you have a down period. Like you're standing here looking at a console and you're, you're going through the emails or whatever. Make sure you just decide to, you know, you can just save then. Because you want your progress uh, saved at good points um, rather than just anywhere. Because it, it seems like it just kind of saves anywhere, and that isn't too good. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. So now we're getting into a little more action. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a lot less here. since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. <laughs> Okay, so did you notice when I got hit off the balcony and I fell like a story and I still didn't get killed? That was amazing. So the favorites wheel you use like almost all the time. That's like what you're going to be using, you know, throughout the game to change weapons. At least that's what I was doing. I mean, I was hitting triangle like real quick just to quick swap weapons, but doesn't always... Everything is not always on that quick swap, so you have to use uh, you have to you have to use the favorite wheel. First real view of the world. Shotgun. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Did I mention how good this game looks? It looks amazing, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing. I love that. It. Looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm standing here taking a screenshot, honestly. That's why I stopped. <laughs> uh, I thought it was really cool that you could jump down here and uh, you just, it's not a big deal to get back up. Uh, I was a little bit worried when I jumped, uh, when I jumped after I took the screenshot and then it kind of turned around to look like, what was I going to do? I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to get back up and I'd have to reload a save or something, but I'm like, oh, it's worth it. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions.
Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Debug build version 0.7.6. Verbose. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. 
I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Kind of reminds me of Total Recall a little bit too. It's kind of odd, right? Lots of different science fiction movies and games kind of wrapped into this thing, uh, which I think is really one of the really cool parts about it is that it has all that flexibility um, and such a interesting beginning and interesting premise. You know, as I said, I have no idea how this turns out. I haven't played any more than the first like hour and forty-five minutes, but. It's such a good start that I can't imagine that it, it doesn't turn out pretty decently. So you can just recycle anything uh, as long as you're willing to give it up, you know, and then it'll turn into pieces and then you can go to the fabricator and use those pieces to make other stuff. But you need blueprints for the fabricator and I had, uh, I only had one blueprint so uh, it wasn't, wasn't easy to make anything. And I thought you could turn, I thought I had more than that because there was like up on the, the upper right hand corner there it looks like you have more but I don't think you do I think that's I think that's either a placeholder or it's there uh, for the full game and it just doesn't isn't doesn't exist in the demo I don't know couldn't tell you
Scanning target, no type of material detected. Good morning, Talos. Warning, tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security.
So we're pretty much at the end here. I'm just kind of exploring, kind of trying to figure out what's going on in the different areas, see if I can find anything new or anything like that. Um, so I hope you guys really like the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, I hope you guys are thinking about picking up Prey because I think it's going to be a really great game. Um, and uh, that's going to about do it for me. Uh, I'm hoping hoping to uh, put out some more f some footage of um, Injustice 2 uh, as soon as possible, which is going to be on the 16th, uh, which is very soon. It's like 15 days from now. It's crazy. A little bit more than that, actually. It's like 16 days from now. But even so, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, in those 16 days, I think we're going to have some Heroes of the Storm footage. Uh, we're going to do more because next week is week two of the Nexus Challenge. Uh, so we're probably going to have some uh, week two Nexus Challenge footage. Uh, hopefully me doing the entire uh, Nexus Challenge again. Um, hopefully we'll have that up. Uh, that was very popular. And then on May 9th, uh, we're going to have the Hot Wheels expansion for Forza Horizon 3. Uh, and that's going to be interesting. Uh, that looks totally bananas. Um, I, if I can make a decent amount of progress in Blizzard Mountain, I will have another video with that Blizzard Mountain progress as well. Um, just to round out, you know, just to kind of a prologue to the, uh, to the Hot Wheels footage. And probably what we'll do with the Hot Wheels thing as well is I'll pick up the Porsche pack so we can play with some Porsches in the, uh, Hot Wheels thing as well. So I've been kind of looking for an excuse to play with those Porsches and that would be a good excuse to do that. Uh, so we'll probably be doing that as well. And, uh, anything else that comes up? I, I don't know what else is coming up. That seems like a lot. Uh, I don't know when the new, um, Street Fighter V character, uh, is coming out. Uh, they said it was going to get delayed. Uh, they didn't say how long it was going to be delayed for. Uh, if it gets delayed enough, I won't be really showing it until m way after the fact. Uh, because if it gets delayed past... Uh, May 16th, it has no chance of getting any coverage on my channel. Uh, I'm just putting that out there just so you guys know, so you're not wondering where the Street Fighter V coverage is, and it's not there. Um, that's because I have no time for Street Fighter V anymore. Uh, so, see you guys later. Bye.